Hi friends, this is Ramna. Today I will show demo on how to remove blank rows in source document and load the data into the SQL tables using namespace. I will show my input source. This is my text document. So it contains um, three columns ID, name, and specialization. This is about the cricket. Indian cricket team. So it contains um, the data contains uh, 11 players. But if you observe the data, there is a gap between between one player to other player. So if you want to load this data, it will accept and it will load automatically. But it will it will show with gap in SQL table. So first, I will show. I will show how this data looks like after loading the data into the tables. I am dragging the data flow task, taking my flat file source, taking new, and here I am browsing for my text document. See, if there is gap, it contains two rows gap between one to and each person has one gap and and it will appear like this so it looks like odd when you want to load so i am trying to load this data into the tables and i am taking the platform oldb destination so i am taking the new i am taking the sports database so right now i don't have any table i am creating now table and make this table name as cricket 11 cricket 11 and so, okay so configuration is done so i am running the package so actual number of data in the source document is 11 rows but it appears 23 rows loaded into the oldb destination see here 23 rows so when you go and check your table, refresh your tables. So if you run this one, see it it is saying 23 rows, even though the uh, real data is is 11 rows, but it is saying 23 rows. So it means if you load this data uh, as it is it will take uh, extra space so our intention to remove this um, space uh, this rows uh, empty rows are blank rows and load the data so how can we do i will show in this demo first i am truncating the table truncate table You don't have any data in the table. Now, <coughs> new package. So, as it, uh, first I'm dragging the data for task. I'm taking the flat file source to configure the source document. Browse for, the, for your text document. The Indian cricket level is my text document in columns it is showing as this with gaps ok and columns and click ok if you want to uh, remove the that um, blank rows in the source document we need to drag one transformation conditional split by using conditional split you can uh, remove the blank rows. So, how we can remove, I will show. Whatever will, will be the columns of your in your table, in your text document, drag all columns into the condition. So, I am dragging all columns in, in one condition and remove the curly braces sorry square brackets
and here you write some expression first of all you have to mention not like not equal to equal to space not equal to be within double quotes space and afterwards we are using and <coughs> and again name not equal to not equal to equal to space and you one more time you have to make and condition here and finally <coughs> not equal to again after specialization is equal to and mention to double quotes so this is how you know to write your expression see here first of all i drag all three columns into the condition space and i mention uh, not equal to two spaces that means not equal to e, e. it doesn't want to um, read the data uh, of e, empty empty spaces not equal to e, e. this is empty and, and again condition is and name not equal to and and again for um, for three columns you have to mention the same condition uh, and with two uh, and conditions and not equal to with empty spaces so this is how you need to write the condition in conditional split <coughs> so here only one condition is there i am i want to make it eliminating the empty rows or removing removing blank rows blank rows so output name I'm mentioning and click okay now <coughs> i am taking the oldb destination and connecting the oldb destination and here there is a default conditional split on default output and re removing the blank rows so our uh, our expression is writing in the uh, removing blank rows so i am taking this one and you configure configure i already we already created one table cricket dot 11 so i am taking the same table again sports is my database click okay and taking the um, cricket 11 table and check your table and everything is so con package configuration is done so first time uh, re reading the data from the flat file source afterwards i am writing one condi one expression in the within the condition split uh, and after to load the data into the destination table now when you load the data it will uh, remove all spaces and it will load only 11 rows earlier we have 23 rows when you uh, at the time of the loading now you can get only 11 rows in the database so i am running the package see here from flat file source to conditional split it is 23 rows are moved to conditional split so from conditional split to world db destination it will take only 11 rows and i will go and check your table here only 11 rows there are no empty rows and there are no gaps the tricky part is here is the writing the condition so you first you, you have to drag all your columns within the condition within the condition column and you have to write the condition not equal to uh, space that means it does not allow empty space and for every column you have to separate with the and and separate it and you can write this condition like this afterwards as usual you can drag the whole db destination and load the data so this is how you need to load the data after after removing the 
spaces in the source document. So these are the spaces you find in the source document. But you, if you come and upload the data, so after removing the so all spaces, the data is lo loaded into the tables and looks like in this way. So this is how you need to do. So there are many scenarios in organization. You have to get the data, uh, raw data from the from your vendors or clients uh, like this sometimes in this format. So at the time you, you have to you have to um, create your package in this in this way to load the data uh, and uh, remove the empty rows that is blank rows. Thanks for watching the video. Thank you very much.